If you have an issue with your computer and you need to restore lost pictures, videos, or documents, you can do this by using built-in features in Linux Mint. First, go to your menu. Then, go to Administration and select Backup Tool. To create a backup of your files, click on the Personal Data's Backup Now button. The first screen will allow you to choose where you will save your backups. The backup tool will automatically create a backups folder where it will save all of your important documents, pictures, and videos. If you want to change this folder, click on the drop down menu and select Other. Here you can choose a new location on your computer, or if you have an external hard drive or USB, it will show up in the other locations. When you've chosen the final destination for all of your backups, click Open. We're going to continue to keep our backups in the default folder, so we're going to click Cancel. With the backups folder selected, click Forward. This next screen will allow you to remove folders that you do not want to be included in your backup. The backup tool automatically removes the backups folder so that you aren't backing up previously saved backups. If there are no other folders that you want to remove, click Forward. This next window will allow you to choose what folders and files you want to save. First, go to Include Directories, and you will be brought to the main hard drive for your computer. If you want to save user settings, make sure that you select all of the folders that have a period at the beginning of their name. You can do this by clicking on one, holding down the shift key, and clicking on the last one in the list. You can add additional folders by holding the control key and clicking on whatever folders you want to be saved. I'm going to save my documents, music, pictures, and videos. There are more folders, so you can scroll down and look and see if there's anything that you want to make sure is saved. When you have everything selected that you want to be backed up, click Open. When you're ready to create your backup, click Apply. We recommend backing up your computer every two to three weeks so that you don't lose any important data. If you are ready to restore a backup, first navigate to your menu. Then go back to Administration and select Backup Tool. Click on the button to restore your personal data, and then click on the button that says None to select your backup. Each backup will have a date and time set so that you can make sure that you are selecting the most recent version. I'm going to select the one that is the most current, and click Open. Then you have the option of choosing to restore only the missing files or overwrite any existing files with the previously backed up versions. This means that if you have a document that you've updated since the last backup, you will lose any saved progress for this document. Generally, we recommend that you only restore missing files. Click forward when you're ready. And with that, your backups have been restored. Another way to backup your computer is using TimeShift. TimeShift will restore your entire operating system, but will not backup your personal information like photos, videos, and documents. This is useful to do before a large update, in case there is an issue with one of the updates that mishandles your computer and makes it inoperable. To use TimeShift, Navigate to your menu, 
go to administration, scroll down to find time shift. You will need to enter your administrative password in order to access the time shift tool. If this is your first time using TimeShift, you will first see the Setup Wizard. The first thing that we recommend is ensuring that you have the R-Sync Snapshot tool enabled. Click Next to continue. Make sure you take note of how big your hard drive is for the next steps. My hard drive is 34 gigabytes. Click Next to continue. The setup wizard will next try to set up a schedule for how often it will run TimeShift to back up your computer. The default setting is to keep five snapshots and record them every single day. If you have a small hard drive, this will take up a lot of space on your computer, and therefore this is not the setting that we recommend for most users. Instead, we recommend keeping a weekly TimeShift. If your computer hard drive is less than 250 gigabytes, we recommend only keeping one time shift. If your computer hard drive is 250 gigabytes or more, we recommend keeping three. My hard drive was only 34 gigabytes, which is less than 250, so I'm only going to keep one. You can also adjust these settings to fit your needs. You can record a snapshot monthly, weekly, daily, hourly, or every time you turn your computer on. You can also mix and match these settings just to be on the safe side. When you're ready, click Next. By default, the Time Shift tool will not save any personal files or folders. This screen allows you to change that. If you do want to save your personal files and folders automatically using the TimeShift tool, then you need to save that particular user's home directory. The user that I'm currently using is the FreeGeek user, and if I do want to save all of those personal files and folders, I need to change my option from Exclude All Files to Include All Files. Now the TimeShift tool will automatically save my personal images, documents, and videos. Click Next to continue. Now setting up TimeShift is almost finished. Click the Finish button to continue. From now on, whenever you open TimeShift, this is the screen that you will see. If you want to change any of your settings, click the Wizard button. You can then go through these steps to change any settings that you want, and then click Finish when you're done. To create a backup file, click the Create button. Although if you set up a weekly schedule, or a monthly schedule, or even a daily schedule, this will automatically happen at the predetermined times. Depending on your computer and how big your hard drive is, this can take a few minutes all the way up to a few hours. We recommend not using your computer while it is creating a snapshot. You can cancel this process at any time by clicking the cancel button. Any saved snapshots will be found in this window here. If you are having an issue with your computer and you can no longer log in, you can still access these snapshots and restore them using something called a live boot. If you want to know how to create a live boot, then please check out some of our other videos. Thanks for watching.